Good day. In this video, I will show you how to use the Optimum Barrel Time Tool, OBT in short, in Gordon's Reloading Tool. Since I have not used or tested OBT with handguns, and I'm not qualified to talk about that, this discussion will only be relevant to rifles. Firstly, a very big thank you to Gordon for his personal undertaking of creating, maintaining and continuously upgrading Gordon's Reloading Tool, GRT in short. It is a wonderful program for all shooters worldwide. Thank you, Gordon. To get reliable results from GRT, you should always measure up your own rifle and ammunition components and enter those correctly into GRT. Remember the age-old saying, junk in, junk out. Let's create our own new file. Click on Create New File in Current Window. Close GRT's default file. Let's select my caliber, the 306 Springfield. The values in yellow indicates those that are now different from before. All the values that are ticked will be changed. Read the warning and click yes to accept. We will now enter my own data. Please note that this is all my own real measured data. Enter your cartridge case length in GRT under case length, mine measured 63.1 mm. Enter the case volume of cartridge cases that was fire formed in your specific rifle chamber. My average measured 71.8 grain. Enter the overall cartridge length, OAL, of your own ammunition under cartridge length. Mine measured 81.0 mm. My barrel length measured 602.0 mm. I save my new file as 30-06A. Let's select my projectile. I choose the Lapua Senar 167 grain. The orange bar indicates an item created and saved by a user. Projectile length is not automatically ticked. Save to our existing 30-06A file name. Let's select my propellant. Somkem S365. Enter the powder mass, which you use to load your own ammunition, 56.0 grain for me. Notice that GRT now displays the calculated results based on your own inputs. GRT allows the user to choose between and to use a mixture of metric and imperial numbers. To change the units, click on the ruler icon next to the item. I prefer velocity in feet per second. You can add various tabs, notes, pictures, short group calculator, and our measured data. Please always add your measured data to any GRT data file that is shared with GRT. I manually add my chronograph measurements. Save the file. Let's look at the OBT tool. If in the measurement tab you have the same powder charge as in GRT's input window, then the OBT tool will automatically pick up the average for the velocities you entered. Two eight one nine point three feet per second for me. 
with the distance from the muzzle to the middle of a chronograph sensor and with the G1BC. GRT can calculate your compensated muzzle velocity. If you use a magnetospeed, lab, radar and such, then you already have a muzzle velocity and you keep the distance at zero, which then shows the same velocity at the chronograph and the muzzle. My chronograph is 5 meters from my muzzle. My muzzle velocity is compensated accordingly from 2819.3 to 2831.1 feet per second. GRT calculates the muzzle velocity at 2779.8 feet per second. Initial pressure is a combination of and subject to the case neck grip on the bullet, primer energy and the force needed to engrave a projectile in the barrel. Initial pressure is the pressure required for the projectile to start moving, separate from the cartridge case and engrave. The user can change initial pressure, IP, to get closer to the measured muzzle velocity. At an IP of 400 bar, the calculated velocity of 2841.1 feet per second is too high. Please take note that OBT calculates the bullet lead time, BLT, the bullet's transition time whilst inside the barrel, starting the time from 10% of Pmax up until the bullet exits the muzzle. If a bullet only gets in motion at an IP which is higher than 10% of Pmax, in other words after 10% of Pmax, it follows that the lower value of 10% of Pmax is in reality not available to GRT and GRT then cannot calculate BLT. Thus, the IP should be lowered until it's lower than 10% of Pmax until BLT can be calculated. The following two conditions in GRT display indicates or shows when the IP is too high and it needs to be lowered for BLT calculation. When nothing is calculated or shown here and when this error message is displayed by OBT. With IP at 375 bar, the calculated velocity is good at 2831.3 feet per second. But IP is still too high to calculate BLT. At an IP of 360 bar, we are good and BLT is calculated. The calculated velocity of 2825.3 feet per second is as close as we can get whilst still also being good for calculating BLT. Save the file. Let's run the OBT tool. Check that your chronograph measured velocity, distance, BC and compensated muzzle velocity is correct. Click on Compute OBT and Charge Adjustment. The OBT tool automatically adjusts the K and BA values of the powder until the calculated velocity matches your measured muzzle velocity. At these K and BA values, GRT with OBT is calibrated to your specific setup. They then speak the same language. We now proceed to calculate the charge weight for an OBT barrel node. Click on Compute Node Charge Adjustment. It is calculated at 56.0 grain for node 4.5. Pay attention to warnings. Working pressure close to the maximum permissible gas pressure. I have a large and wide ranging database from loads I developed for clients. To help Gordon test the program, I ran this data through GRT. I only included loads which I consider as excellent that produced 5 shot groupings of 1 MOA or less at 100 meters. I found that more than 40% of these loads did not land up on existing full OBT nodes. The reason for this might be due to the rifle's condition variations in the manufacturing of rifle and ammunition components, and factors like bedding or added devices like silencers, muzzle braids, etc. Maybe even due to combinations that was not part of Chris Long's 
development of an OBT theory. Anyway, all of the more than 40% of loads that did not fit full OBT nodes landed exactly on the newly created half nodes in GRT. I suggest you load and test two loads for accuracy, one on a traditional full node and another to the closest half node. Click here to not display half nodes. Node 4.5 is our median node. There are higher or faster nodes available at increased charges. Let's go one node up or faster to node 4. The charge weight for node 4 is calculated at 57.35 grain. Pay attention to warnings. Overpressure. 4160 bar exceeds the CIP maximum permissible gas pressure of 4050 bar. I won't use this load, it is highly likely unsafe. There are also lower or slower nodes available at decreased charge weights. Let's choose node 5. The charge weight for node 5 is calculated at 53.26 grain. Pay attention to warnings. IP is too high to calculate BLT. If we want to use this load, we need to lower IP until it is lower than 10% of Pmax and until BLT can be calculated. Let's go back to our media node of 4.5. I am happy with this load because it seems safe. Make a note of a value for K at 1.23408 and BA at 0.52239. Notice a small adjustment in K and BA of only 0.0550% when calibrated to muzzle velocity. GRT limits changes in K and BA to plus minus 4.5%. Enter the new K and BA values into GRT. Charge weight state at 56.0 grain. Save this file to a new name. I add dash obt on the end. This is a five short grouping with this obt load at 100 meters. I am also in the process of making a comprehensive and very detailed instructional video on the complete use of Gordon's reloading tool. This in-depth video will be commercially available later in 2020.